Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be recreating Jaclyn Hill's vault collection campaign. I'm not going to be doing all of the looks, I'm only going to be doing one. And it was the one that really stood out to me the most when it first came out. I was like, oh my god, yellow? Really? Like... It just looks so intriguing and I just thought it looked so cool. So I never actually planned to buy the vault collection mostly because it's a lot of eyeshadow and I didn't necessarily need all of them. My mum went to Las Vegas a couple weeks ago and she knows how much I love the OG Jaclyn Hill palette and she even bought one for herself because she loves it that much as well and she went to a Morphe store and she saw Jaclyn Hill and she obviously recognized it and bought the vault collection for me, which I'm super happy about. And I wanted to do a first impressions video, except that I had to open them like straight away. And so I was like swatching everything on my arm. Today, I tried to recreate the campaign look for the palette Armed and Gorgeous. So it's got you know your yellows and your oranges so i used this palette with a little bit of help from its big sister the og jacklyn hill palette this is what the final look looks like if you'd like to see how i accomplished this and the many fails along the way then please keep watching oh and i almost forgot don't forget to use code jack attack at checkout okay so i've got my base i've got my blush i've got my bronzer and i've got my brows we're gonna move on to the eye look which is arguably the main point of this look it features a lot of yellows oranges a graphic liner and some big lashes and so we're gonna try and accomplish this i believe the palette she used was armed and gorgeous this is what the palette looks like. I tried to wear a yellow shirt. So looking at the picture right now, I know we've got a bit of this color. We've got a bit of this one, maybe a bit, a bit of this one, but the look itself is quite simple. It's just the liner that's gonna add something a bit different to it. Give me a sec. Got a whole load of mess here. My mum also picked me up the Jaclyn Hill Eye Master brush set. Yeah, I've already used one, which I really, really like actually. It's this one. I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush, which is very soft. I need a transition shade. I'm gonna get the OG Jaclyn Hill palette. This is honestly pretty much the best palette on the market, in my opinion. I'm gonna grab, first of all, this shade right here and just pop it all over the lid, kind of. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not used to these bold brows, but I quite like them. So I think we can head straight into the yellow palette. I'm gonna start first of all with Access, this yellowy orange shade, and pop it pretty much everywhere. This is kind of like the base color for the look. And then we're gonna add some oranges to deepen up afterwards. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. She seems to have kind of like a darker orange in the crease. So I'm gonna grab the kind of pointy brush and grab a bit of Agent, which is this color right here. Gonna grab a little bit more of that orangey yellow and just pat it over top, bring it back a little bit. I'm gonna grab more Access and put quite a lot of that on the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab this teeny tiny brush and grab Agent again and pop it really close to the lashes on the bottom lash line. I don't think Lipstick Nick actually did this, but she's got massive false eyelashes on her bottom lash line that you really can't see what's on it. So I'm kind of winging it here. Our eyeshadow is done. Now we've got to move on to the liner, which I'm super scared of because you mess up your liner, you pretty much messed up the whole look. It's my absolute favorite liner at the moment is the Kiko Ultimate Pen Longwear Eyeliner. It's quite affordable and it works better than other expensive liners I've tried. This is the Too Faced Sketch Marker, which when I swatched it in the store, it lasted on my hand for three days, um, despite showering, washing hands, all that kind of Kind of stuff it's super black as well which is a good thing but the thing is it just it won't draw on my eyes if you get a little bit of color if you want to go back over it to make it nice and just nice uh, it will literally pick up the color it put down and make it disappear so i hate this and it was quite expensive i think we're going to start off with the winged liner and then i'll go in with the uh curve thing i suppose wish me luck i got one done one to go I'm messing it up. I'm using the L'Oreal Ultra Position Super Liner. Precision. I'm using the L'Oreal Ultra Position. Oh, can't speak. Precision. 
Precision by Superliner. This is really good if you just wanna line the lash line. It's not got a sharp tip, it's kind of got a round tip, which means you can't really do a, a wing with it. But if you want it just to hug your lash line, like it's literally perfect for that. And it's a super wet formula, which makes it just glide on and you don't have to go over it a second time. Thank you, L'Oreal. I'm gonna let the liner be. Don't wanna upset it. Like it's as good as it's gonna get. They're not completely identical. We're just gonna say the sisters not twins rule applies to winged eyeliner as well. I should have practiced earlier, shouldn't I? If I understand correctly, it goes over the eyelid, over the crease of the eyelid, and then comes out the other side. Wish back again. <laughs> Does it look good? It's not exactly the right shape, but it it's not. Mm actually i technically need it to come down more to go up more but i can't remove this unless i want to do the eyeshadow again which i really don't so we're just gonna stay like this thank you any questions i'm gonna come in close here and show you what exactly i'm dealing with because i'm using a felt tip liner it's not straight at all as in you've got little dots it just like skips a beam i should have used like a gel liner or something but i don't have a gel liner so i'm not gonna buy a gel liner but yeah i guess it, it's not bad like from far away it looks kind of good <laughs> from close up let's just you know stay back i'm gonna try and sort this out a bit more and then i'll do the other one I went with the L'Oreal one again to make it super black and try and make it smooth. A bit of a problem because the tip is so big. I've got two completely different eyelid shapes, which makes wing liner as well as lashes a very big problem. What is that? What is that? It's not coming off. I now have a gigantic hole in my eyeshadow, which I'm going to fix right now. Let's do this again. Preferably better this time. Okay, what is this? Literally, um, I don't know if it's the liner or me, but I'm not happy. What just happened was a very delicate operation. I had to remove whatever was hanging off that liner without disturbing the liner underneath, but I succeeded. Now I've got to fix this. As you can see, it's like skipping tracks again, which... Okay, I've made a decision. I've decided that I'm gonna make... Actually, no, that's gonna look like trash. I don't even know what to do, to be honest. Um, I mean, if I'm far enough away from the camera, can you even tell? We are finally done with this goddamn line of... Mm. Now we're gonna highlight because this is Jaclyn Hill, obviously. This shade right here to highlight under the brow bone. And as for the inner corner, she doesn't seem to have any highlight, but I mean, we're just gonna assume it's there. So what I'm gonna do is first of all gab, gab, grab teeniest, tiniest bit of excess. Just pop it a little bit more in the center of the eye. Center, what way? near the tear duct for just a hint of pure yellow. And then what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of the same shade I use for the brow highlight and just pop it on top. So the rest of the highlighting is gonna come in a minute. But for now, I have to do the lashes. I have literally got the crappiest fake lashes in the universe. I've got these, which is a mix of two different pairs of lashes cut up because I'm shit at applying them. Then I've got, then I've got these, um, which are still intact. I'm gonna use this, which is the Lash Paradise UK version, which is called Paradise Ecstatic. Literally, why change the name? Here's the look with literally just mascara, and it actually looks pretty fun and fresh. Not as fun and fresh as it does with lashes, but it looks fun and fresh. Okay. We all agreeing. Next hour of my life is going to be spent trying to put on fake eyelashes. Not only do I have super crappy lashes, but I also have super crappy lash glue to go with it. So apparently you have to wait five minutes for your lashes to dry. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. As for lips, she's got a super peachy, what looks to me as a matte lip. That is literally almost the same color. And I'm gonna grab just a little bit of Beach Babe, which is slightly lighter. It's literally the color of sand. Like literally, it's so light. I don't know how anybody wears this. It's called Bikini Babe, not Beach Babe, sorry. 
And now we've got a fairly similar shade. At least to me in my mirror, I don't know what exactly the can. Mm. I mean, it's looking as similar as I can possibly get it. Okay, as for the glue, I think it's sticking now, that's good. How do I do this? The front part of the mash is literally not sticking, which I'm actually so annoyed about. <laughs> I'm gonna add some extra glue and wait for it to dry on my eyelid. Can you even see that the lash is not on properly? I don't think you can't. Okay, I'm just gonna stay like this. It feels and looks like, you know when you look on a security camera and there are cobwebs and then sometimes you see a spider walk through? It feels like that. Like I can literally see something in my peripheral. Is that how you pronounce it? Peripheral vision? See what I meant when false eyelashes become a problem? This eyelid is lower than this one, which means that the lid looks darker on this side than it does on this side because there's more lash. So what I'm gonna do actually is cut this eyelash a little bit, just like the length of the lashes. Let's do this. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Do you see how stubby this part of the lash looks? I think that looks better. Let's just ignore it. Let's just stand far away. I feel like I need to add more liner here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Is that better? Okay, if it's not, whatever. Right now we're gonna highlight using the OG Champagne Pop. Seems quite fitting for a Jacqueline look, I don't think. I'm gonna grab some on a teeny tiny brush to highlight the nose as well as the cupid's bow. Breaking news, both of my eyelashes have started to come off in the inner corners. God's sake. So I put some glue to fix it and hopefully it's gonna stick. Okay, finally my both my lashes are on. I've got two minutes until they're gonna pop off. So um this is the look. I think it turned out really well. I wouldn't say it's completely identical, but I think it looks pretty good, you know. Um I actually really love these little graphic liner things. I find them like they just they frame the eyes super nicely. Um, and I just find it so fun and fresh and I think this is the kind of makeup we'll be wearing in 2200 if we're still alive that is anyways this is the end of the video I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe please let me know what you thought I might be doing the red campaign look soon probably not in the next month but uh, one day so yeah that's it I'm gonna leave you guys now bye of all four palettes, my favourite has got to be Bling Boss. I love, you know, like berries and purples because they really bring out green eyes. Um, and so I always reach them more. But look, look at this. The first time I looked at it, I was just like, oh my god. Like, let me just take a second. Like, literally choked on the beauty. My lighting, I don't know what it is, but just colours don't appear... Like, everything looks so much brighter in real life than it does on camera. Like, thanks, iPhone. It won't be buying from you again. But yeah, this, like, 